It's like, oh my God. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it's so loud. Oh no. I like owls, but like, f dude, why you gotta, why they gotta, why they gotta be fucking nocturnal? <laughs> If you found yourself in the driver's seat of a Mark IV Supra, let me be the first to say congratulations. If you're watching this because you're thinking about, you know, getting your hands on a Mark IV Supra and you're already looking around for some wheels and tires and suspension for it, then let me be the first to say great choice, first of all, and then best of luck to you. Either way, welcome to Fitment Industries Garage. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries. And on today's episode of What Wheels Fit, we are going to be covering the Mark IV Supra. So grab your TE37s and your Boba and let's get right into it. Real quick though, before we go and dive right into all the nitty gritty, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a ton. And of course, once you are done watching this and know what wheels are going to fit your Mark IV Supra, don't forget who helped you out. And stop on over to fitmentindustries.com and check out all the wheels, tires, and suspension options that we have available for your Mark IV. For this generation of Supra, we are looking at a general fit range of 16 to 20 inches for the diameter, 8 to 10 inches for the width, and an offset landing anywhere between plus 25 and a plus 50. So pretty damn massive range of different sizes and fitments within that range of wheel sizes. So what we're going to do is take a look at some of the Mark IVs that are sitting in the gallery right now over at fitmentindustries.com and go over specifically what people are running on these cars as far as wheel sizes and suspension to give a first hand look at what certain sizes, offsets, tire sizes, suspension setups look like first hand. Starting off, we're gonna take a look at some of the setups that are a little more modest, meaning that they won't have the most aggressive fitment or the most aggressive styling, but they'll still look good and you won't have to worry about modifying anything else to get them to fit. And then as we move down the list, we'll get into some more and more aggressive options. All that being said, let's take a look at our first Mark IV Supra of the day, which is gonna be this silver 1998 with some Adhan DS05s. Now these have a size of 18 by nine and a half with a plus 30 offset all around, so a square setup, paired with some Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 tires. And these are 275, 35 for the size. And then for suspension, we are seeing some tain coilovers to help drop that ride height and boom there you have it all this getting a nearly flush fitment with no rubbing issues and no need to roll fenders or anything like that so all around a good entry level wheel and tire and suspension setup that's not going to break the bank and it's not going to give you any issues next up we get slightly more aggressive and switch over to a staggered wheel and tire setup with this 1998 this time we have some good old bulk te 37 so these are a 19 by eight and a half with a plus 26 offset up front and a 19 by nine and a half with a plus 34 offset in the rear for tires we have some formula spec Z's 245 35 and a 275 35 for the size and then sitting lowered on some lowering springs so not coilovers a couple notes here we do have a very flush fitment with this setup and fenders are rolled to help make some room and to make sure that there's no rubbing issues with this car another quick note is that we also do see a three millimeter spacer in the rear to help out a little bit giving us an effective offset of a plus 31 in the rear all said and done, another solid setup and you can't go wrong with some TE37s on your Mark IV Supra. Moving right along here, we get to yet another 1998, this time with some NKRS 05 RRs. Now these are some fantastic wheels, by the way. 18 by nine and a half plus 32 up front and 18 by 10 and a half plus 33 in the rear. For tires, these wheels are paired with some Nanking NS2Rs, 285, 35 and a 295, 30, and then sitting on some HKS coilovers for the suspension. Now this is a pretty aggressive setup and gives us a little bit of a poke in the rear. Notes on this car, fenders are rolled and pulled to help make some room and to alleviate any rubbing issues that this car would have. So overall, very clean setup on this car. Up next, we have a 1997 with some raised CE 28Ns. This time we're looking at a size 19 by nine and a half plus 22 offset up front and a 19 by 10 and a half plus 22 offset in the rear. Wrapped in some Achilles ATR Sport 235.35 and a 275.30 and then all that sitting on some BC Racing coilovers. A couple notes on this car that it does not list any fender modifications needed as far as rolling or pulling or anything like that to get the setup to fit and this car is also making right around that 600 horsepower mark as well making this one clean and one mean mark for supra and then with our last car of the day we are going to be taking a look at this 1997 sporting some cosmos racing xc 206rs 18 by 9 and a half plus 10 up front and 18 by 11 plus 8 in the rear so getting pretty wide here for tires we have some toyo proxies 235 40s and a 255 35 and then lowered with some help from the blitz coilovers 
fenders are rolled and the inner liners are ditched to help make some room for this setup. And there's also some help from some adjustable camber and toe arms in the rear to help just kind of dial everything in. So there you have it. Those are some solid examples of some Mark IV Supras sitting right in the gallery at fitmentindustries.com right now. You can feel free to go check them out for yourselves to dive in in any more detail or to see some more pictures. And of course, if you have a Mark IV Supra that's on aftermarket wheels, or if you get some aftermarket wheels for your Supra, add it to the gallery, fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. It's what we use to help make these videos and to help everyone find their next set of wheels and tires. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries, Fitment Industries Garage. We'll see you later. Peace.